the Narcissistic Network. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the Narcissistic Network. This involves the smear campaign, character assassination, fly monkeys, and the effects that this has on the people around you. Please like, comment, and share. Click the subscribe button underneath the video if you haven't subscribed yet. If you would like to make a donation, my PayPal link is in the video description. There is also a new feature underneath the live chat where you can make a donation. Just click the dollar sign icon. This will also make your comment viewable for a longer period of time. If you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, my email is in the video description. Please send me an email and I will provide you with further details. The Narcissistic Network The Narcissist creates this network when their control of the situation is threatened or when they believe that they are going to lose their narcissistic supply. The network is a deliberate attack on your character. It is designed to spread untrue rumours and to damage your reputation. It is designed to degrade you lower your value and make you feel crazy. They are extremely abusive and manipulative. Using various tactics such as denial, projection, blame shifting, gaslighting and coercive manipulation. Narcissists are attracted to attractive people. They want what everyone else wants so they can use them for attention and validation narcissistic supply. Once they are in proximity with you, they become extremely competitive. You are taking the spotlight away from them. They believe that you are stealing their attention and validation. This leads them to desperately attempting to change your identity. They want you to see yourself in a different way and believe that everyone else sees you in a different way. This is known as coercive manipulation or gaslighting and it is something that these sick twisted people practice on a daily basis. Narcissists will certainly alter your identity, perceptions, beliefs, values and principles. They are extremely sick twisted people and it shows in their actions. They will do all of these things to you and then deny doing anything wrong or shift the blame onto you. They want you to think that you are the problem and following the abuse and manipulation, you will have a twisted identity, perceptions, beliefs, values and principles. Now they have evidence that you are the sick twisted person, it's all you. The perfect murder, the perfect crime. You may start to believe it and the narcissist will jump on the band bandwagon telling you that it is all you. You have created this twisted identity and perceptions all on your own. But you didn't. The truth is they made you that way. They programmed your identity, perceptions, beliefs, values and principles certainly over a period of time using their abusive, manipulative tactics. That's just how sick these people really are. The fly monkeys create this narrative within their network about you. Everyone within the network will then follow this narrative and see you in the same way. You may try to stress a point to them. You may try to find a common understanding. But there really is nothing you can say or do to, to anyone in the narcissistic network to make them see you in the way that you see yourself. The programming of the narcissistic network does not allow them to see that. They have been programmed by the network. This has, this has adjusted their thinking to see you in a negative way, which is usually the exact opposite of everything you are. The network does not allow them to see you as a whole person, they see you as, a, as an object. The network does not allow them to recognize your value. 
in the back of their minds I'm sure they are fully aware of how great you are as a person but the network program does not allow them to see you in that way it's like watching a program on TV about a certain food item before watching the program you may have enjoyed eating that food but from watching the program you have learned that this food item is harmful to your health following this you no longer view the food item in the same way this does not mean that the food really was harmful to your health many TV programs have ulterior motives but if they have managed to change your thoughts and beliefs about the food then the programming was successful so this is what happens to individuals within the narcissistic network over time they will target the people closest to you family friends relationship partners isolating you is an essential part of the process you cannot have anyone there to support you or your perception of the narcissistic network these people are extremely envious and jealous of anyone you may have in your life so they will do whatever it takes to divide you divide and conquer they will turn everyone they possibly can against you anyone you could potentially come into contact with but they have to target people who are close to you as they could become a threat to exposing the narcissist network soon enough the people close to you will adopt their way of thinking they will begin to see you in the same way they will mistake the programming as an awakening to the truth when in reality they have just been programmed and allowed their reality to be distorted this is practically the same as the fake world or alternate reality which the narcissist creates they cannot allow you to interact with anyone outside of this fake world so anyone who is outside of the fake world must be programmed and brought in before you are able to interact with them for them to do this they have to be aware of what you are doing before you do it and where you are going before you go there they will stalk you obsessively all day every day it becomes a lifestyle for them a newfound purpose the reason for this is because one of their greatest fears is to be exposed their, their obsessive stalking and reality distortion is their attempt at risk management there is another reason why they will stalk you so obsessively the reason why they work so hard to sabotage and destroy your career finances and social circle is because they were deeply envious of all of that the narcissist was also very jealous that your life did not revolve around them so they already know that to watch watch you redevelop your career finances and social circle is going to make them deeply envious of you you will notice that they appear to become hypersensitive to any amount of progress or success you achieve any amount of satisfaction or fulfillment with anything in your life and this then reveals the true motive of the narcissistic network when people work so hard to assassinate your character to devalue and degrade you to make you feel worthless and insignificant they would not be able to do this if you didn't have a character to assassinate if you didn't have value if you were not significant if a person already has no character 
and is already worthless and insignificant, they would not need to devalue or degrade them. Beneath the programming, they actually view you in a completely different way to what they might make you believe. They see you as being more valuable and significant than they could ever be. You were a threat to their view of themselves. As they witnessed you living your life, achieving great success, it triggered them to reflect on themselves and how worthless and insignificant they feel. If you look at how they are trying to make you feel, or how they are trying to get people to see you, this is exactly how they once felt when they had to witness your success. This is how people once saw them. They were deeply envious and jealous of you. How people are trying to make you feel is exactly how they feel. Remember that. It says nothing about you and everything about them. Following the creation of the Narcissistic Network, their goal is to achieve whatever you achieved or create the illusion that they achieved that and then tell you about it or display it to you in some way. What is the point of doing this after they have already sabotaged your career, social circle and relationships? If you have recently been targeted by the Narcissist Network, it is likely that you have gone from having everything to having nothing. So what could they possibly be envious or jealous of? They are ruminating on the past. They are remembering all of your past achievements and experiences. Things that they will likely never get to achieve or experience. They are observing your life in the present and realizing that you can be satisfied or fulfilled from the little things in life, such as going for a walk, having a hot bath, or enjoying a nice meal to yourself. They cannot get the same fulfillment from the little things. Even from whatever it is they are trying to make you envious or jealous of. That doesn't fulfill them anyway. A narcissist could have a billion pounds in the bank and still be envious of you because you bought a new pair of sneakers. It's not really the sneakers that they are envious of. As if they have a billion pounds in the bank, I'm sure they could buy a pair of sneakers on their own. But what really makes them envy you is the fact that they cannot get the same fulfillment. That's why narcissists will often choose quantity over quality. So although they have sabotaged your career, social circle and relationships, there is still plenty to be envious of. Your past achievements and experiences, things that they will never get to achieve or experience, your satisfaction and fulfillment with, with the little things in life, anticipating what you could potentially achieve or obtain in the future, your consistent happiness and high energy, regardless of what they are trying to do to you. That one really winds them up. Think about it. These people have spent all that time doing anything and everything to tear you down, to sabotage everything good in your life, to make you miserable and depressed. And you're still walking around with a big grin on your face, loving life. That really winds them up. After they have done all that to you, and then they built themselves up or created the illusion that they are so great and you're nothing, and you're still smiling, they don't even know how to respond to something like that. It's unheard of in their fake world. You've got to have tons of money, a good career, friends and a relationship to be satisfied or fulfilled in their world. You've got to have the picture perfect face and body to love yourself in their world. Well, let me tell you something. I've had plenty of money, a career, friends and relationships in my life already. 
and none of that made me satisfied or fulfilled with my life. It just made me more miserable. You could have everything on the outside, but you will still feel empty on the inside. And what difference does it make if you are beautiful and have the perfect body? Do you even know what kind of person that attracts into your life? Not someone who really values you or appreciates you as a person. You're just an object to them. You think that your face and body is really that important and taking selfies every day? We are multidimensional beings having a human experience. The human body is temporary. It's not something you keep. People are so focused on everything on the outside that they forget that 99% of what we are cannot be seen in this dimension. Looking good may attract someone initially, but eventually they are going to find someone who looks better than you because there is always someone who looks better. And then what are you going to do? When you based all of your worth on how you look on the outside, when really all you ever wanted in your life was someone to see who you are on the inside. And that's how I found it so easy to detach from everything the narcissistic network destroyed in my life. Because when you think about it, the career, money, cars, looks, body, designer clothes, and whatever other material items the original purpose of all of this was to attract someone, someone into their lives with the hopes that they would eventually admire our soul on the inside. But deep down people feel so unlovable these days. They don't think anyone would admire them anyway. So we cover ourselves, we add accessories to an to add value to who we are as people. When the true value has always been within you. You just needed a person who would finally recognize that value within your soul. Now I'm going to talk about how the narcissistic network can affect your view of yourself, other people and the world around you. I have always felt that I was a logical and understandable person, although my environment suggested otherwise. It's just in this narcissistic environment, I am constantly gaslighted. I guess that was to disguise the fact that they are not logical or understandable. Of course, if they were logical or understandable, there would be no need to create a narcissistic network. Where there are two mature adults, there will be some form of mutual understanding or resolution. Narcissists do not follow an official or established procedure due to their sense of arrogance and entitlement. They believe that they are the exception. They are also self-absorbed and lack empathy. Their pathological envy and jealousy overrides any empathy they would otherwise feel. In a normal environment, there are certain states, frequencies, choices or decisions that will impact what kinds of people you will come across. But in these toxic narcissistic environments, your choices or decisions do not affect an end result. It does not matter if you are self-love deficient or self-love ab abundant, the same self-hating miserable people will still force themselves onto you. They will even do the typical thing that all narcissists do and create the illusion or manipulate you into believing that they are self-love abundant or people on a high frequency. This is something they can only do for a short, limited amount of time. And if you look closely enough, you will see that you are being presented with a false display or false attitude. These people are fake and inauthentic. 
regardless of what they do or say, always remember that. They will try all of the tricks in the book and do whatever they possibly can to make you think otherwise. But their program will always end in the same way. With you being abused or manipulated in some way, your environment affects your thoughts, feelings and behaviours. So avoid these people at, at, at all costs. They are fake and inauthentic people living a lie, trying to do whatever they can to convince you that they are real and they are the truth. While we, we can be real and true to ourselves without any effort at all, it comes naturally to us. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you to understand more about the Narcissistic Network. Please check out my playlist on the alternate realities and fake worlds. Also my video on the Fly Monkeys and the Smear Campaign for more information on this topic. Please like, comment and share. Click the subscribe button and underneath the video if you haven't subscribed yet. I'll talk to you in another video very soon.